past four or five days have felt distinctly autumnal and that's really the theme for the weather for the week ahead quite autumnal often large amounts of cloud and some rain particularly for northwestern parts of the uk where it could be pretty heavy now here's the big picture for Sunday. Notice the ice bars are fairly close together across the UK. That means it's fairly windy. But take note of this weather front. It's a feature that will become dominant for some parts of the UK for the first part of the week. This huge swathe of cloud. And for some areas, it will deliver quite a bit of rain. But for now, for this afternoon, across Wales and southwestern parts of England, overall it's grey skies. There'll be some rain in places, particularly so across the hills and mountains of Wales. Quite gusty to the east of the mountains too, a fairly brisk and gusty westerly wind. Further northwards across the Isle of Man into Northern Ireland, here too a fair amount of cloud, a little bit breezy at highs of 16 or 17. Now for Scotland, there'll be large amounts of cloud for southern and western parts of the country, but towards the northeast, the cloud breaking, allowing some occasional sunshine to come through. And for northern England, it's fairly wet at times on the western side of the Pennines, drier further east, but here there'll be a fairly gusty wind. And for the Midlands, East Anglia and South East England, cloud amounts will tend to vary, but if the cloud does break to give some sunshine, it'll be fairly warm, highs of 20 or 21. Now overnight tonight, remember that weather front I just showed you on the bigger picture, it snakes around across the north of the UK for Scotland, Northern Ireland and northern parts of England, possibly the far north of Wales, to some persistent rain here. Further southwards, though, not too much in the way of rain overnight, but fairly murky. There'll be some hill fog, but mild for most, temperatures generally in double figures. So here's the big picture then for Monday. Note this weather front still draped across the central swathe of the UK. The ice of ice fairly close together across the south, too, meaning that the wind's fairly brisk. But that weather front's also a dividing line between colder air to the north of the UK and warmer air engulfing most of us. And if the the cloud breaks for the first part of the week, potentially it could be quite warm in the sunshine. So here's the picture then for Monday, our weather front slicing in across southern Scotland, northern England, the far north of Wales and Northern Ireland, some outbreaks of rain here. North of that it's sunny spells and showers for Scotland, and further south across England and Wales if the cloud breaks, which hopefully it will, we'll see highs of 21 or 22, but a lot cooler further north with that colder air in place across northern Scotland. For Tuesday, spot the difference, still it's the central swathe of the UK, seeing large amounts of rain in place places, particularly across the hills and mountains, bright and chilly for Scotland further north, cloudy but largely mild further south. Then for Tuesday overnight into Wednesday, this weather front still snaking around across the central swathe of the UK, so for some places there's more rain to come, but for northern Scotland on Wednesday it could be a chilly start to the day, having had clear skies overnight, particularly for rural spots, otherwise for the rest of us large amounts of cloud coolest in the north, mildest in the south, and rain sandwiched in between. Then for Thursday, by this stage, high pressure starts to build. So the weather front will start to weaken temporarily at least. So for most on Thursday, it could be largely dry with a great deal of cloud, but a little bit of rain towards the far west by the end of the day. Then for Friday, high pressure really establishes itself across the North Sea. But out towards the west, the weather front will start to approach, and the ice of ours close in too. So for Scotland into Northern Ireland for the end of the week, there'll be grey skies and rain with a fair old breeze. Elsewhere large amounts of cloud but it should stay largely dry so lots going on for the next five days more when you wanted of course with BBC weather